Mari, and I'm here to tell you about nesting boxes. As I'm sure you've noticed, birds are starting to pair up and getting ready to nest. And if you'd like to provide a home for them, we have a variety of options for you. We have a lot of wren and chickadee houses. These houses are smaller cavities. They have a smaller entry hole, generally about one and a quarter inch. This will allow your smaller wrens and chickadees to get in the box, but it will exclude your larger sparrows, swallows, other birds that might take over the box. I also have a wide variety of bluebird boxes. They're intended for bluebirds, but you may get the occasional sparrow species or swallow species nesting in these boxes. They usually have an opening that's about one and a half inches wide. Certain ones will have predator guards on them to help keep larger critters from getting in and taking the babies. We also have more specialized houses. So that's gonna be our flicker boxes for northern flickers. We have a hairy woodpecker box, a downy woodpecker box, and a nuthatch box. And then birds that don't like an enclosed cavity, we have an open nesting perch. This is gonna be for your birds like uh, house finches, doves, robins, all those guys that like to build an open cup nest rather than use an enclosed box. I'm gonna show you our Wild Birds Unlimited Bluebird House in a little more detail here. What makes our house nicer than other houses is that they have two openings. So there is a top opening in the roof that allows you to view the babies and it locks shut. There's also a side opening, so it's easy to clean. Um, this house has proper drainage, has proper ventilation, has a nice mesh ladder so the babies can easily get out of the box, has the built-on weather guard like we talked about so that predators can't easily get into the box. This particular model is our EcoTuff model, which means it's made out of recycled plastic jugs, has a lifetime warranty, but we do have a wooden version as well if you prefer the more natural look. So all the boxes we just talked about were obviously more functional and utilitarian. Um, we do also have decorative houses that are also functional. It's the time of year when a lot of our customers come into the store and ask us, why are woodpeckers banging on my house? And that's a great question. It's a very, very loud banging noise that male flickers make in, in early spring to attract a mate. And early in the morning, usually pre-dawn or right at dawn, you'll hear what sounds like a jackhammer. And essentially it only lasts one to two seconds, if that, and they rapidly drum about 25 beats per second. And the louder the bird, uh, the more females that might be attracted to him. We've answered the question about why woodpeckers are banging on your roof and the metal objects on it and we have solutions to help you deter them from coming back to that same area and waking you up early in the morning. We have a holographic scare tape and it's made of mylar and it's a very shiny glittery sort of tape. It's not sticky. It comes in a hundred foot roll that you can cut into different lengths and attach to the area that they're being attracted to. The glint and the shininess that's caused by movement with the wind and the sun makes them not want to be in that area because of this. Another option is a holographic wind sock. And this is a, a sock made of many strips of that mylar. And you can hang this very easily from an eave or a downspout, which will deter them from coming to that area. Um, these are very inexpensive fixes uh, to initially try to deter woodpeckers from coming to your home. Uh, they tend to work from one to three years because woodpeckers are very intelligent birds and they may learn that while it's irritating to them, it doesn't pose any harm or threat to them. The next best option is to put a flicker box or a birdhouse for flickers on your house. But it's a ready-made room. They're very pragmatic. They would love to come to your home, make a nest, and build a family in that beautiful safe box and then go off into the wild. And you'll notice it's a very large birdhouse with a very large opening because it's a very large woodpecker. The opening's two and a half inches wide and there is slate around the entrance because birds may cling to the side of the box 
and then drum on the slate. They come with a, a wonderful hanger on the back. Essentially, you would want to put this on your home right up under an eave or under the apex of a roof line uh, or very near, if not over, where damage might be occurring to your home. The, the side of the box opens up very easily with this little lever. You turn that and you open the box and the side opens and you can see that you can have access to the inside of the box. When you first put it up, every box comes with a bag of Eastern White Pine wood chips. We recommend putting them back into the base of the house and packing them down about two to three inches deep. Save the rest of it because when you clean the box in the fall, you can replace the old wood chips with new. And then close the house back up, hang it up where you've decided to put it. They'll go into the box, she'll, she'll have her babies and they'll fledge right out of this box. It's a wonderful way to live with Northern Flickers. They're very territorial, and once you attract one family to your backyard, they will keep other northern flickers away. So by living with one family, you actually keep your house safe from other woodpeckers and uh, can enjoy uh, them for years to come. Hi, I'm Mara. I'm the general manager here at Wild Birds Unlimited, and today I'm going to tell you a little bit about seed and suet cylinders and stackables. So. Um, seed cylinders are the longest lasting, easiest way to feed your birds. They're a fantastic supplemental feeder to feeding loose seed out of a tube or a hopper style feeder. They are just seed, nuts, and fruit uh, in various combinations that are held together with food grade gelatin. So because it's a condensed seed product, uh, the birds have to work at it a little bit more and thusly they take longer to eat the cylinder and you get to see them for longer. So when you have birds like chickadees or nuthatches that would normally take a seed or a nut and fly off to a tree to eat it, with this they'll actually cling on, work at the seed, you get to see them a little longer, more fun for you to watch. These come in a variety of flavors. We also have plain suet cylinders and we have fun ones like little character. And if you have any issues with critter problems, squirrels, blackbirds, raccoons, we do have some solutions for that as well. Uh, beyond getting a squirrel resistant feeder, we do actually offer some that have hot pepper mixed in them. So we have a hot pepper cylinder. We also have a hot pepper suet cylinder. This will help keep your squirrels and raccoons off your feeder. And then if you have blackbird issues, we do also have a safflower cylinder that your seed-eating songbirds will enjoy, but blackbirds tend to leave alone. These are a great option for feeding too if you're going on vacation. Since they are so long lasting, you can fill up your feeder, not have to worry about it running empty if you're gone for a few days. And hopefully there's still some left um, along with all your birds when you get back. And the best part is, is that we're going to be having a sale on all of these from March 1st through March 13th. So come on in and grab some cylinders. Hi, my name is Mary and I'm going to tell you a little bit about bird feeding and calcium. Young birds need calcium as part of a healthy diet in addition to the proteins and fats that we often offer in bird seed. Young birds are growing bones and they need the calcium for the bone production. In addition to young birds, nesting birds who are laying eggs also need extra calcium in their diet. Uh, it helps them produce healthy eggs. Wild Birds Unlimited offers a selection of foods that contain calcium. For example, we have the Nomes Plus blend, which has fruit and tree nuts and sunflower, all things that birds love. In addition, it has suet nuggets. But given a choice, a nesting bird or a young bird will choose something like this that's fortified with calcium over a food that doesn't have calcium in it. Also, our Tree Nutty Plus blend has sunflower seeds, peanuts, raisins, things birds love, and it's fortified with calcium as well. Our Choice Plus blend is loaded with great ingredients. It has fruit and suet nuggets, safflower, sunflower, peanuts, other chopped tree nuts, and of course, it's fortified with calcium. This is a great product. It's carried exclusively at Wild Birds Unlimited. It's Jim's Bredacious Bark Butter Bits. They're suet nuggets and over 120 species have been cited eating them and it's no coincidence that they contain calcium. It also comes in a spreadable form in a tub. 
Jim's Bredacious Bark Butter. You can put that directly on a tree. You don't even need a bird feeder and you'll get just as wide a variety of birds. And it also comes in a brick form so you can put it conveniently right in your suet feeder. We also have the peanut butter and jelly suet dough products. They can fit in your cylinder feeder or your suet feeder and of course they're fortified with calcium. Thank you.